Hello, here's a tutorial to introduce you how to generate game animation from your character design image. As you can see, you can upload a character image and this AI is going to generate all kinds of uh, game animations for you. We support side scrolling, view and isometric view. There are eight directions, up to right, right, all kinds of directions. Firstly, you only need a character image. Let's try some random character image. We can use ChatGPT to generate some random character image. I'm telling it to generate a simple 2D character image. All right, so we have this character holding a sword and a shield. Let's use it. Go to God Mode AI. So we firstly upload this image. Then you can select the camera perspective. There are side scrolling and there are asymmetric. Side scrolling, we support some of the more complicated actions like show you can, auto can actions from Street Fighter. Side scrolling model sometimes is not that stable. So I would suggest you to firstly try isometric model. There are eight directions so up left, up, up right, all kinds of uh, directions. That's the direction the character is facing. You can see from here's up left direction is the direction the character is facing up left. You can just use right as a side scrolling uh, game is probably would be the same. So let's select down right. Then we're going to select action. Let's firstly try walking the most basic one. So next step is the model is going to auto repose the character. So for example, the character position, the pose aspect of the character may not be optimal for the view we're going to generate for. For example, if you want upright directions, the character is actually facing upright. So we can see his back. But if you use this, this image, you don't see his back. So the first step is we're going to adjust the pose because Essentially, this model is a image to video model. Basically, it's going to use your image as the first frame and try to generate the whole animation. So we want to do some auto repose to make sure the pose of the character is good first frame. If we want to generate the punch, we want to make sure the character is in a pose that's ready to punch. We want to make sure the character is ready. Just click start. All right, see the AI adjusted the pose a little bit, the camera perspective to make it from the down right perspective. So this step is very important because it's AI, sometimes it can generate wrong results. So here it's asking you to confirm the auto pose result. If the auto repose result doesn't look good enough, you can always retry. I think currently it looks good. We can just click continue. Then the model is gonna work on generating the animation based on our auto repose result we get the result. Sometimes the first version of the result won't look that good. For example, the way the character is holding this word is wrong. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. I'm going to click this again, to make it generate the animation again. So it's going to ask you if you want to redo the auto repose or we directly use the previous auto repose. I think the auto repose looks good. So we can directly continue with auto repose image. All right, so I think this time the result looks much better. You can directly download MP4 file as the video, or you can choose to download the sprite sheet. Um, it, the sprite sheet is perfectly aligned. You can directly use it in Unity or any other game engine. So let's try another one. So let's probably try kick, roundhouse kick. So the action, let's try right direction, generate. So first thing is we're going to generate a another auto repose. Every time if you change an action or change an view direction, it's going to regenerate the auto repose image because different camera direction, different pose may need a different pose for the first image. All right, let's generate. Another thing is you can provide some prompt. The prompt here only covers the animation, not the uh, auto repose part. Okay, so this is the roundhouse kick. In general, I think it's not too bad. All right, that's all for this tutorial. Thank you, hope you enjoy.